Neighbors called 911 dozens of times in Headingham, many in total panic after the active shooter wreaked havoc on their community. The people answering those calls are the lifeline in life's worst moments. In a story you'll only see on WRAL, Chelsea Donovan spoke to those on the other end of those calls. Chelsea? <laughs> Yeah, exactly right, Lena. They have to think at lightning speed, responding to life's worst moments. As you can imagine, this is an emotionally taxing job. These men and women in this building here, these 911 dispatchers, as you mentioned, they are the lifeline to folks in desperate need, and that is the mission they worked to accomplish last Thursday. It was a shift like any other. We were just kind of rocking and rolling like we normally do. Tracy Lacasio was at the tail end of her 12 hour day at Raleigh Emergency Communication Center. 911, what's the location of your emergency? It was behind these walls where those first calls came in Thursday, October 13th. I think I heard three or four gunshots. Okay. There are people yes, screaming. We heard some shots outside and I looked out my window and there's a, the neighbor is on the ground, I think. And I heard the first call taker. Jonathan Leal, operations manager, was in his office when something caught his ear. And I heard him yell across the room to one of the dispatchers saying, that, you know, the shooter's on the move and just the urgency in his voice. For hours, dispatchers' phones were lighting up. The goal, getting help out to the scene as fast as possible. RPD just made me aware that there is a female possible code seven on the trail with a GSW to the head and two other patients. Um, I need an EMS unit here. These dispatchers were laser focused, all working past their shifts. Time just didn't exist really in those three hours. But in the back of their minds. In an instant, you know, fathers lost sons, uh, wives lost husbands, people lost parents. Uh, that's what stood out to me. These men and women getting the first call, the lifeline to people in panic, a calming voice during the most tense moments. Our citizens' worst day is just our work day. Interesting perspective there. And as you can imagine, there were a surge of calls coming in from the Headingham community. And even as those 911 dispatchers were fielding those, they still that night had to field all the all the rest of the emergencies happening that evening in Wake County. Lena, their composure is so admirable. Chelsea Donovan reporting live in Raleigh. Thank you.